What's good, Crown family? Hope you're having a good day today. If not, I hope this video bring a little light to your day. Make sure you smash the subscribe, hit that like button, and also hit that bell to become a part of the notification squad. Also, after this video, be sure to check out my newest song. It's called Alone. The link will be in the pinned comment. Make sure you add that to your Spotify playlist. I surely appreciate that. Also, if you're an independent artist and you want me to react to your song, Hit my email in the description. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we finna check out a new video from the, the Odd First Out. This one right here is called Conspiracy Theories and Crazy People. Listen, I'm gonna leave the original video in the description. Y'all go show him some love after the video. Let's get straight to it. At my Subway, you would spend your entire five to six hour work shift with only one other person. And you didn't get to pick that peculiar partner you were spending your precious period with. So that meant I was stuck with some crazy characters. And one of those characters was really, really into that new age snorting healing crystals kind of stuff. And he would specifically <laughs> talk to me about it because I- Wait, did he just say snorting crystals? I was the only other person there and all we could do for fun was watching bread rise. Since I was contractually obligated to stay, I would just listen to him ramble about how he thought the universe worked. He told me about chakras and how easy it was to open your third eye through LSD. He told me about scrying using black mirrors and that it's a common misconception that you can get stuck in the mirror, but that's just a myth that doesn't actually happen. Which is a good thing because getting stuck in a mirror is something I'm constantly worried about as an adult. <laughs> oh, and he told me that every illness is in your head and that hospitals can already cure anything, but they're not going to because if they cure you, they're going to lose a customer. So he's just going to stick to his essential oils and non-vaccinated immune system. Thank you very much. Listen. I mean, let me not. <laughs> you can believe whatever you want to believe, as long as it's not hurting yourself or others, okay? But denying modern medicine? No. No. No, you, you can't do that. No. Since there were still four hours of the workday left and I didn't want to argue with him, I would just respond with, uh-huh. He didn't do crack or meth or any hard drugs that I know of that would alter his perception of reality. Even though he didn't trust hospitals or doctors, he really believed in the benefits of medical marijuana. If you're ever wondering what kind of person is making your sandwiches, yes, they did give this guy a license to touch your food. Whoa, dude. Yo! My sandwich tastes <laughs> like colors. I learned something about myself that day, and that is, I'm obsessed with crazy people. Even though I didn't believe a word he said, I would still ask him questions just to get him talking. Wait, so you're telling me that everything in Naruto is real? Something about talking to him and hearing his perspective was... I mean, Naruto, you know, I haven't seen a, 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 a lot of episodes, but from what I, I've seen, you know, they teach you a lot of life lessons. Not saying that all the stuff is real, but you know, you learn a lot. Fascinating. This human that I share a planet with exists. What is a crazy person? A crazy person is not someone who has a weird hobby or owns a pet snake. A crazy person is someone who, despite having an astronomical amount of evidence pointing to one idea, believes in the latter. I'm not a psychologist, and maybe I should have consulted one before making this video, but I think crazy people have an unhealthy amount of unchecked distrust and paranoia. I don't know where to even begin talking to crazy people. Their worldview is just so much different than mine. A crazy person will think that someone who has no reason to is lying. NASA's lying about the moon landing. I don't trust NASA. Hospitals are lying about medicine. I don't trust doctors. The government's lying about... Well, a lot of things. They're lizard people! Okay, that one might be true. Thankfully, I don't personally know any crazy people. Well, okay, some of my friends are into astrology, but they still get vaccinated, so... You know, you win some, you lose some. However, on the internet, there's an overwhelming abundance of crazy people. I'm guessing crazy people don't go outside because they think the government will target them with directed energy weapons or something. Yeah, only crazy people stay inside yeah. wasting hours of their life behind computer screens. <laughs> One of my guilty pleasures is that while I'm working, I will listen to crazy people talk for hours. It's weirdly my version of ASMR. I've tried listening to podcasts and audiobooks or anything that's good for my brain, but there's something so fascinating about listening to a 50-year-old genuinely tell you about his alien abduction. And it only has 300 views? This man was contacted by aliens, people. Why isn't he on the cover of Time Magazine? You now, hold up, hold up. See, I, I just don't know, man. Listen, the universe is too big for it not to be other, other people. 
people out there are, you know, aliens or whatever you want to call it. Like, come on, man. Like, th there's no way that aliens don't exist. It's, it's, it's literally impossible for another living being out there in, in this universe to not exist. Like, <laughs> we just got to come to conclusions of that, whether you want to call them aliens or not. But yeah. YouTube will teach you everything you need to know about aliens. Did you know that aliens traveled millions of light years to build pyramids, stomp on our corn, and abduct a couple of crackpots? There's <laughs> videos of people who will tell you in full confidence yeah. about the gray and praying mantis aliens living among us. I mean, the videos barely have any views, but they exist. Most of the views are from me. Okay, all of them. I don't understand how people think the moon landing was faked. There is so much evidence proving that the moon isn't even real. Wake up, sheeple! I gotta be honest, I don't think flat earthers are real. I think they're all just a bunch of trolls trying to get people like me to hate humanity. I'm no rocket scientist, but I know that our understanding of space and gravity is so beyond what shape the earth is. I'm amazed how much free information is available to people, but they still choose not to believe it. So I'm sorry, I just can't accept that flat earthers are real. I mean, I have nothing to back up this idea though. I guess it's just a crazy theory of mine. Wait, here's a lighthearted conspiracy for you. Some people think that the creators of the Sonic movie purposely made the design of Sonic bad in the first trailers as a marketing ploy. Everyone was outraged about the bad designs and ended up talking about it, giving the movie free promotion. Meanwhile, the executives were planning to use the better designed Sonic all along. The evidence for this is... Well, I'm talking about the Sonic movie right now, so I'm contributing to the theory that this was all for publicity. Another... No, no, no. Okay, I, I, I legit just recently seen the movie, but... It's a really good movie, I, I suggest. <laughs> Go see it. It's funny. Well, I personally loved it. But, um... I, I think it's possible. I, I, I feel like that one is is highly possible. You know, put out a trailer that you know will create outrage. You know, that they, they create outrage, which causes it to trend, free publicity, um, trending almost every single day of people trying to get you to fix the movie, and then they finally fix it, and they come back with the, the one that they already had cooked up. I'm not saying that they didn't go back and do it, but I also believe that this could have been a marketing thing, a whole thing, you know, just... I, I mean, it's, it's, it's genius. Why, why? I don't know, man. It, like, what, what trends more than, than something uh, uh, like that? You know, like what 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 can make something trend more than than something bad? Like people, if it was just good right off the bat, I don't think you would have trended like it, it did when people seen the first trailer. It was like, oh hell no, nah. this this ain't gonna work. <laughs> you know, I mean, not saying that it wouldn't have trend because because it's Sonic, of course, but that thing was trending for weeks. Like people were just going in like. Bro, they need to switch up their trailer. They got to fix Sonic. That don't look anything like Sonic. Oh, heck no. But, you know, I don't know. I, I believe they did it, you know, for a marketing strategy. Another piece of evidence is, look at this. What is this? There's no way that any executive or anyone with two eyeballs would okay this ever. And yeah. honestly, I might have believed this conspiracy theory if this movie didn't exist. If it wasn't for the Cats movie, I would have thought Hollywood knew what they were doing too. But because it's current year and these types of things can still get past test screenings, I think sometimes Hollywood is just no good. <laughs> I could be totally wrong though. If anyone watching worked on this movie and wants to be a whistleblower, let me know in the comments. Another rabbit hole I fell down was discovering a group of people called targeted individuals. Targeted individuals are a group of people that think the government is sending NSA agents to harass them. And this isn't just the American government, it turns out that every government in the world is harassing random citizens. They claim that they're being harassed because the government is trying to silence them for speaking the truth, when in reality they're not speaking anything remotely true. A targeted individual will say things like, People keep following me. There's a white van that's been parked in front of my house for hours. The government's been using electromagnetic radiation to transmit sounds and thoughts into my head. And the whole time I'm watching these people, I'm thinking, Yo! Yo, That sounds like schizophrenia, my dude. I don't know your life. Maybe you just got out of a really bad cult and you do have stalkers following you. Okay, yes, that happens. 
But it's not the government. One targeted individual I saw said that the government attacked them with a directed energy weapon and that they've been having migraines and coughing up blood. And I'm just flabbersmacked that someone actually believes this. How do you tell them, yo, the government's not harassing you. Oh you probably God. have something going on in your digestive system. You need to see a doctor and a psychiatrist. <laughs> and it's easy to point and laugh and make fun of these Bro. people, but after hearing their stories, I just feel bad for them. They are going through some major mental stuff, and I think they just need a friend to talk to. Most conspiracies can be disproven with a little bit of research, so it's important to think critically and not immediately believe everything you hear online. And if there's not enough data to make a judgment, then it's okay to say, I don't know, or I need to look into this further before making a conclusion. Viral misinformation punishes everybody, so it's important to do research, tests, and evaluations to form a concrete judgment before you hit that retweet button. There is one conspiracy theory, I believe, and that is that Jeffrey Epstein didn't kill- are there any conspiracy theories that you believe in? Feel free to rethink your life choices. What did I just say? If you follow me on Twitter or Instagram, then you know that I'm unfortunately postponing most of my book tour until further notice. I'm still planning on going to Medford, Massachusetts, Springfield, Pennsylvania, and BookCon in New York City at the end of May. If you bought a ticket to an event, then you'll have to call the bookstore to get a refund or have them honor the old ticket when we reschedule. Keep in mind that these booksellers are dealing with a lot right now, so please give them a few days to sort this all out. I'll be posting updates of the situation on my Twitter and Instagram, so be on the lookout for anything new. And with that, I want to announce that I'm going on another tour called Scribble Showdown. I know I just postponed my book tour, so it's probably a <laughs> weird Jeff time to be it. announcing another tour, but hopefully things will be sorted and dealt with by the end of July. As always, I want to say thanks to my amazing team who worked on this video. I don't think I can thank them all enough, as I am paying them an exposure. Thank you for watching, everyone. Be sure to wash your hands and wear your seatbelt. Hey, man. Shouts out to uh, <laughs> the uh, first out. Like, his, his visuals, I mean, his uh, animations be so freaking creative and dope, man. And it's just hilarious, bro. But, hey, if y'all want to see me watch any other uh, videos from the art uh, first out, let me know in the comments and I'll try to get to them. Like I said, I'm going to leave the original video in the description. And y'all can go check it out. Show him some love. By now, it should be a video on my face. That's my newest song. It's called Alone. If you got some time, click the video on my face and it'll take you to the song. Now, if you enjoy that song... Smash to subscribe to my music channel, which is a separate channel for this. I give you the title clip video on my face. And we all salute Crown Family. Have a beautiful, blessed day. Till next time.